Throughout its history, MasterChef has catered for some of the most discerning palates in the world. But no one like this. Australia's first lady, the legendary Dame Edna Everidge, has arrived to host a lunch. And cooking for this illustrious event are bitter rivals Mickey Flanagan and Jack Whitehall. She's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's a man. Well, isn't this exciting? And what is in store for me? My juices are flowing already, possums. Downstairs, Jack and Mickey need to get going. They're under the scrutiny of chefs John Tarode and Michelle Rue Jr. Can I ask a question? Yes. You know the way you have those Michelin stars? Yes. Do you wear them on a badge, like at McDonald's? Or do you... Because you know if you want to show them off. No? I cooked once before, and I think I gave my dad food poisoning. But he likes everything rare, and I just didn't realize that chicken was the thing that he doesn't like rare. So it's his fault, really, for not specifying. And that, my friend, is how to do breasted chicken. The training that I've done for this is fairly, fairly full on. You know, I've watched 15 minutes of Saturday Kitchen, I actually need the stove on at 200. No, that's the oven. The, oven. the oven's on at 210 there. Yeah. Which is the stove and which is the oven. Joining Dame Edna for lunch are MasterChef judges Greg Wallace and Monica Galletti. I'm an admirer of Greg and little Monica. Hello. David, this is my friend Monica. Monica. Hello, sweetheart. Well, I'm a big fan of yours. Do sit down. I hope this isn't too intimate for you. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you lunch in such grand style? I'm so used to it. <laughs> I don't think of this as grand. I think it was a little bit down market. Guys, the first course is going in one hour and five right. minutes. OK, let's go. The first course. Let's go to work. Mickey is making a starter of ham with boiled eggs chopped veg and pork crackling. This is supposed to be the jewel in the crown. He has also designed the fish course, John Dory with red wine and some fruity accompaniments. What is the rhubarb for? Ah, the sorry? rhubarb is going to be part of my main dish. With fish? Uh, yes. Ugh. First, he has to fill it the spiky John Dory. I mean, one of my big fears about coming into the world of cookery has been that I would go straight to the top very quickly. Ow! Oh, oh that looked painful. Of all the fish I could have chosen, the lovely cod, the friendly kipper. If I meet one of these fish, I'm going to go kick it right in the face. But the judges are more worried about how Jack is planning to serve his chicken with risotto and bacon pieces. I'm going to serve the risotto in one of these. I've noticed that Greg only likes puddings. So if Greg sees it and thinks it's a pudding, he'll like it. It does mean now I've got to eat five of these fruit corners. We need to eat it like Greg, where he goes like that. Shovel it down. What? Oh, I tell you what, I love a put. Oh, I'd like to have a bath in that. Oh. Do it, Greg, do it, Greg. Now, I should warn you, little possums, that it's not just three of us having this scrumptious meal. There is another person, and that is called the High Commissioner of Australia. How do I address him? Your Excellency. Your Excellency, thank you. And then he'll probably say something democratic, like, oh, call me Bob or something. And should I? Is his name Bob? Oh, is that just, no, his name is Mike, but call him Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Your Excellency, welcome to my table. Thank you, Dame Edna. It's and great to be here. Bon appetit! 
Gentlemen, your first course is out in ten minutes. Ah! Waiter, could I see the menu, please? Mickey now has minutes to plate up the ham and egg salad. I like this knife. You could run the East End with this knife. Soft-boiled egg? Well, that's not difficult, is it? That is a disaster of international proportions. So those eggs cooked how you want them? I don't know if I might have overcooked them. But, you know, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. That should be like a stay-in. You've got to impress. Off you go. This is your masterpiece? It's one of them. Oh, this is fantastic. Mickey has served Serrano ham and soft-boiled egg salad with pork crackling. Those diced veggies look a little bit like sick. Ah, oh, well, that could not have gone any better. I, I, don't, I don't think it brings the panache that this occasion deserves. Oh. <laughs> The crackles. It's made of plastic. Frankly, a bit disappointing. No, I don't like it at all. Well, but it tastes great. It just looks. Would you like some wine now, Michael? Coming up on Comic Relief does Master Chef. Here we go. Ah! This is horrendous. <laughs> 